People have different ideas about what a, a retail store inventory means. In a retail store, it's, it's divided into two major areas. You have the, the front room, which is where you go and shop. That's the sales floor, right? And you got the back room, which is all the stuff that's in back stock that hasn't been put out there on the shelf yet. So as a shopper, everyone's been in this situation, I'm sure, where they go out to the shelf and they see where the product that they want is supposed to be, but there's not any on the shelf. So then they have to make the decision, um, do I need to go find an associate and then ask them to go look in the back to see if there's another one? Or do I just assume that there's not another one because it's not out there on, on the sales floor? So we all have this impression that somewhere in a retail store's computer with all that technology, there's a perfect number that tells exactly how many items I have in the back of the store and exactly how many items that I have in the front of the store. In actuality, uh, those systems are not very good. Retailers are only about 65% accurate as to the number that is in their system is the actual amount of that product that they have in their store. So almost 35% um, of the time it's, it's not correct. Uh, so it's very difficult for them to make certain that they're making good decisions about restocking from back to front and putting things out there for the customer um, with not having really great data to work off of to begin with. Another important concept for a retail store inventory is something that we call uh, uh, PI accuracy or perpetual inventory. And this is this concept of um, what the inventory count is of, of any particular item in a retail store. So, you know, for example, if it's, if it's toothpaste and I have a, a, an inventory number that says I have 42 tubes of toothpaste, um, ideally then that is a continuously correct number. So as I sell more out of the front of the store, it decrements from that computer system that the store has. As I receive more in the back, then it automatically adds into there. On paper, it seems real simple, it makes a lot of sense. But in reality, when you get in the store, they're very messy, there's lots of things going on. People steal things, put them in the wrong location, things happen. So there's a lot of inaccuracy that creeps into those systems. So that concept of, of PI uh, or PI accuracy is, is often uh, uh, off track with what's actually in the store. So, so a big part of retail research is trying to correct to uh, make sure we're working with correct numbers to begin with.